Hi there, let me show you quickly how you can use breakout rooms inside a Google Meet that you set up with a Google Calendar event. So I've got a calendar event here called Breakout Rooms, and you can see if I open this up and go into its settings by clicking the pencil icon, you'll see that I have a number of people already in this uh, meeting, and I've, I've just added them by adding guests here. You can see they're all listed there like so. Now. Over here, the Google Meet link has been added. Anytime you create an appointment with more than one guest or more than yourself, uh, it will automatically add a Google Meet room for you. If you don't need it, you can just remove it with the X. But and I do want it in this case. Now, when I click on the gear wheel, it opens up this dialog box and I have the option for breakout rooms. And you can see that there are seven rooms assigned to this particular breakout. And I've already put people into groups here and you can see I've named the groups. So <laughs> here's Moe's Bar, for example, and I've got all the locals for the bar. Here's some of the kids. Uh, here's the Simpsons family and so on. And so I've actually put people into groups. You can move people around in groups. You can sort of drag them from one place to the other simply to move them around or move them back again. If you were to remove someone from a group, so let's say I'll remove Barney from this group, he would just go back to the main call and then you'll be able to drag him to whatever other room you like. Uh, just drag him back into this one as well. A uh, little tip for you, if you are moving people between rooms, as you drag them down, you'll get to a point where you just get to the edge of the screen and it scrolls down for you. And the same at the top of the screen. If you just pause at the top there, it will scroll up and down so you can drag people into the correct locations. Once you get people set up the way you want, uh, and by the way, if you don't want to manually drag them, you can click this shuffle button and it will just automatically assign people randomly into the number of rooms that you've selected. So if you change this number of rooms, it will obviously change the number of people in each room. Uh, I've got this set up the way I like it, so I'm not going to change that. But if I did change that, it would automatically reassign people and reshuffle them. And if you want to clear everything out, there's a clear button there as well. Let's just save those changes. And you can see now, if I was to just, uh, just let's just close this up by saving this uh, there. And you can see there is the appointment. When the time comes to run this appointment and open the breakout room by going to the Google Meet, the Google Meet opens like so. I'll just turn my camera off. You don't really need that. Uh, when I join this Meet call and then go to the icon down here where I can access my breakout rooms, you'll see that I have all of the people in the call. Now they're all grayed out at the moment because these people are not actually in the call. But when I say set up breakout rooms up here, this button, it will automatically pre-assign people into the named rooms. And you can see there's the right characters in each room there. Um, and it will just reassign people into the rooms that you've planned in advance in the calendar invitation.